Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. We got more information on season 11 with another blog post by WWE Supercard. So we're going to check this out. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think about it. Now, a few days ago, they released their first blog post about season 11, talking about a new game mode and all that stuff. We did make a video on that. If you're interested and haven't seen it yet, go check it out or go to the Supercard website and read either one of these blog posts. Now, we're not going to read this thing word for word. We're kind of going to paraphrase and of course talk about it. But like I always say, let me know in the comments. What do you think about everything that we've learned today? Are you hype for season 11? Maybe what are some things that you're hoping that they talk about when it comes to season 11? What are some things you want to see or don't want to see? Either way, let me know in the comments below. So let's get in it. Season 11 is here. New quest system and variants. They're really only talking about two things today. Nothing really crazy exciting, not like the very first blog post anyway, where we talked about a new game mode. So basically what's going to happen is, is that they're taking tickets and quests and merging them together and basically just getting rid of the ticket store altogether. Now, um, the reason that they claim that they want to do this, and I'm going to read a quote, I guess. Do you ever feel like tickets and quests kind of overlap a bit? Are you tired of claiming tons of ticket packs, holding on to them for an indeterminate amounts of time and constantly debating about how you spend them? We are too, frankly. That's why we're merging the concepts of quests and tickets to make one single comprehensive reward system that's designed to make it clear what you've got to do and what rewards you'll get. Now, I mean, I'll be honest, I absolutely disagree with this statement. 100% wholeheartedly disagree with this statement. I mean, at least for me, and I don't know about everybody else, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of people uh, spend all of their tickets in the very beginning of each tier or season. Stack, 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 stack. And then when the new season or tier drops, they spend all of their tickets again. And to me, even though the ticket packs aren't the best, and most of the time I pull absolutely trash from them, it's still exciting. And at least for me, it's fun content to make videos on and saving tickets and doing quests to get tickets and saving them up is much like super coins, right? Super coins can be found in so many different game modes. Uh, you have a super coin store in which you sit there and debate. Hmm. Do I want to get the PLE cards? Do I want to open up packs? Do I want to get card backs? Do I want to, you know, get these special edition cards? Do I want to waste them on picks? I mean, the debate is there with super coins too. So what they're going to do is, is that you'll no longer see daily quests and ticket store when you open it up. Uh, you're only going to see one single menu. They're going to streamline everything and it's just going to be quests and that's it. They do say that you have 90 days to spend all of your built up tickets. Wednesday, February 4th, 2025 is when the ticket store is going to disappear. They say they're going to leave the ticket packs, how they are, the rewards that are in them. And when we get to the new season, the new tier, I'm assuming that they're going to update with your tier. So if you make top tier in season 11, I'm just going to assume that again, just like the old ticket system, that you'll be getting, uh, you know, cards in your tier. But it says once you open up the quest window, including daily quests, you'll be uh, kind of sim. It's kind of similar to the old challenges, you know, where we had daily quests or whatever. But you're gonna see all of your quests in one single tab, one single spot. So instead of receiving tickets, you're gonna receive rewards for each objective accomplished and those objectives and rewards will change daily be sure to check back what you can earn now they do show daily quests right here in their little preview screenshot and i'm gonna have to say i'm obviously less than impressed uh rarity drop pick i mean cool blue tokens red tokens red tokens i mean yeah, unless these things are obviously a lot more than what we get on, say, Wild Wednesday. 
I mean, this is not going to get me too excited. You want me to do, you know, win a male solo match and get one single, uh, one single red crystal? I mean, personally, I'd rather have a ticket. You know, I'd rather all this be tickets because you could get 10 tickets in a day. And even though that the pack you get for 10 tickets isn't shit, but at least it's something. I mean, you could get cards. But either way, I mean, that's just a screenshot. Not saying all of them are going to be like that. Maybe they have other cards in there, other rewards. Maybe those blue and red crystals will be jam-packed, you know, 20 of them or something. I doubt they're going to be 20 per day, obviously. Now, each quest in the quest menu is going to have individual objectives. Rewards for completing objectives and rewards for completing all objectives. Very similar to what we have now. In addition to this, you'll see that the objectives you complete across all quests will grant you objective points. And you'll see that at the bottom of the quest menu. Accrue enough object ob objective points and you'll unlock, uh, unlock a unique pack that is guaranteed a card of your rarity. Now again, you know, uh, of course, having getting pulls in your rarity is cool. That's great. But I mean, I'll be honest, man. I honestly like the tickets. Uh, I like opening up the hundred ticket packs. You do ten tickets a day. You wait ten days. You get a hundred ticket pack, and that pack you get with the hundred ticket packs, man. You not only get lots of fodder, but it's just more exciting. I mean, it's more exciting. Like I don't. I mean, unless there's cards in these quests, I uh, I don't know, man. I. I mean, getting one single card at the end of the objective points, depending on how many objective points it takes, how long does it take to, you know, if I do all the quests every single day, daily, you know, will I get a card in my rarity every three days, every five days, every week? Is it going to be every two weeks? I guess we'll have to see, but um, I mean, their whole point behind deleting it, I honestly don't agree. And I think ticket packs are exciting to open, even though they suck. We'll just have to see how this works, but either way, again, let me know what you think about this. Uh, now we got more variants, and the variants, at least that we've been doing now, has just been ability-based. The only other variant that we've had before was Money in the Bank variant, which I had to think about that for a hot second. We've had ability variants for the last couple, and... You know, if you've been out to the streams and stuff, you'll know that, you know, what I do is I take all the cards that I want to do the variants on. I put them in King of the Ring and I just play a King of the Ring over and over and over and over and over again. And surprisingly, it, they activate their abilities super quick. And my ability variants, even on the ones that are 10 percent, get done really quick within 20 matches, within 30 matches. You know, my variants are done. So, you know, you could do a lot of cards at one time with the variants. But either way, it is a little boring. The fact that it's just ability and it's the same thing on every card. But now we're going to have a little bit of a mix up as far as the variants go. And a number of tasks will require you to complete each variant will be decreased. Some existing cards will have their variant type changed. So obviously we've had a lot of variants uh, when it comes to, you know, what we've had, ability or money in the bank. Those are the only two ones that we've we've had. But multiple variants will now be used in every single one of them. But they're adding 13 new variants to this season. Specialist, that is the one where you have to use ability. Wild card, have to use it in wild. Money maker, money in the bank. King, ring king, king of the ring. Warrior, need to win a match in war. Uh, Ring Royal, Royal Rumble. Cage Fighter, Elimination Chamber. Boom Master in Boom. Powerhouse, Power Match. Bruiser, A Toughness. Speedster, Speed. Showstopper, Charisma. Team Player, Attack. So now what do I think about this? Well, I do appreciate their... Uh, inspiration to want to make new variants because we do need new variants i mean we need some variety right there are a couple good things that are bad things uh the bad things first i would say is that you know 
I think it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass if like my first card is King of the Ring, my second card is a warrior, my third card is a cage fighter, my fourth card is a boom master. And I have to just play one specific game mode for one single card to get that one single variant up to max, as opposed to uh, playing one single game mode like I do with King of the Ring. I put all of my cards in there and I just auto that and let it do it itself and it plays itself and it gets its variant itself and then by the end of it i have let's see two four six seven eight nine ten eleven cards that are completely maxed out on their variant fairly easy so i mean i do think in that sense i feel like it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to have to do it in all of these specific different things but one thing I will have to say is that all of these are just winning. And so you could pretty much, I think, fly through it, right? I think you could pretty much fly through it. It feels like it would be pretty easy to do considering they are all win this, win this. Uh, specialist is still, you know, you have to trigger it. But the other ones are just win, 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 win. Uh, toughness, speed, charisma and uh team or attack team i think those are going to be really easy as well because you can do those in campaign you know while you're going through campaign you can find a campaign one that focuses only on toughness only on speed only on charisma and just play that and then just knock it out like that so i will have to say that it feels like this is probably going to be easier but just a bigger pain in the ass but i don't know i mean i i do kind of like it because i do want I, I do want to see some variety. I do want to see, you know, some different ways that we could, you know, play with our decks, use our cards. Um, and, you know, that, you know, brings me to a comment that I had before is that, you know, when I said at the beginning of the video, you know, what are some things in season 11 that you would really want to see? And I think, you know, one of the things that I would want to see the most out of everything, you know, when we talked about boom yesterday and the changes that are being made today, I really need to have some sort of way to use my legacy cards. I need a specific game mode, uh, whether it be in PVP or just something to grind something up. But I need a specific game mode in which I can use my legacy cards. It really annoys me that I cannot use them in PVP. Uh, we did have that brief moment where we could use them in Elimination Chamber and uh, Royal Rumble. And that was actually really fun. I had a lot of fun putting my cards in Elimination Chamber and just seeing those cards being played and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. But I feel like we really need a game mode for our legacy cards. Uh, that'd be my one thing that I want to see. But either way, uh, the rest, we're not far now come next wednesday we'll be rapidly refreshing our waiting for network together if you'd like some company while we wait make sure you discover the discord as well as twitter now for us of course we're going to be streaming all day we're going to be doing a watch party at the morning uh you know once servers go off so we'll be streaming over on twitch over on youtube same thing so if you haven't followed yet be sure you do or subscribe to the channel but if you want to go check out and hang out in their Discord and said, instead, just click this little link right here. Click the little Twitter right there. And uh, they'll be dropping, showing off cards and stuff. We'll be, you know, keeping up with what they got going on in Discord during our stream and, you know, showcasing whatever they show over there, too. But uh, we have some community rewards and objectives ready to roll in Discord once this is live on the 13th. Call it a launch party. Hey, that's what I called it. No, we called it a waiting party, a waiting launch party. But either way, though, that is the information that we have today for season 11. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this stuff. And, you know, some good stuff, some bad stuff, some pointless stuff to me. I don't know. Uh, obviously, we'll get a better idea once it launches. But the quest system thing, I, I can't say that I'm... A fan of right now but we'll have to see how the rewards are i personally like the ticket packs i think those are good and i like saving for them and i like the start of the new seasons and i like opening them but anyways guys i'll see you on the next video y'all take it easy we're out peace